Hi, welcome to Sideline Sports. I'm Sean Neville. I'm joined by Jason Brescenzo, Dan Sweet, and Mike Cott. In this edition, we'll be talking about the Patriots, uh, who are playoff bound this year, and Roger Ooh. Clemens, who recently left the Red Sox. So stick around, we'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the uh, Patriots are playoff bound, as you said earlier. Um, look, looking pretty good right now. Bledsoe didn't look that great in the Dallas game. Yeah, Bledsoe didn't. I think yeah, I think he'll <laughs> be doing pretty well in the playoffs. No, I don't believe so. The, you see, there's a trend going on for New England now. Oh they, gosh. Uh, hear me out, will you? They played Preach. three th against three very three top quality three. teams this year, and everybody. It's been all over the papers how they've been talking about Washington, Dallas, yeah. and. Um, Help me out here. Denver, all right? We lost those games, and we, we didn't show that we could beat the, uh, the, the elite of the NFL. So but, but look at how we, close we were to Dallas. Comes, no, you shut your face. I'm trying to make a point here. When playoff time shut comes. Shut up, Valley Girl. When <laughs> playoff time comes, and we're playing good teams, what do you think is going to happen? We're going to huh? win. Huh? <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm, okay. Saying, okay. I, I'm saying that first round they'll probably be gone. Okay. okay. Second okay. round max. You said okay. well, I'm, you voiced I'm your opinion. I'm very happy to say well, I voiced my that opinion. my eight eight, my eight eight projection of the end of the season was wrong. <laughs> I'm really glad that was wrong because now the Patriots are in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. They have they probably have some of the best running backs <laughs> I've ever seen. They have incre they have an incredibly balanced team and they're going to make it. Who are you talking about? They just about lost here? Sam Gash. One of the most important parts of that team. Doing. He's gone for a little Doing. while. Doing. <laughs> I think you're okay. mixing metaphors here. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. Sam Gash doesn't carry the entire I team. I want to get on to this thing where he said that, that Dallas like beat really bad, beat uh, New England. They didn't really beat them. No, beat I mean, they, they stayed pretty goals. close. I mean, yeah. Dallas they, had no offense in the game. Neither None. did the Patriots. The, de the defense of the Patriots is awfully good. But yeah. Dallas had no offense, and they still beat us. Yes. Well, apparently so. they had something for an That offense, means didn't that they? when playoff time comes. They have a defense. The number one rated defense. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you yes. think is going to happen when some offenses start getting in our way? Huh? Huh? The defense then we will shut them down. Dallas, Dallas uh -huh. is one of the best offenses in the NFL. And also. don't forget, we have a Sorry, we have a very good defensive team this year. Oh, we have stopped so you. many touchdown oh. rushes, so many passes. We've stopped <laughs> many things. We can stop them. And you know, statistics are one thing. You know, you, you play well, but in the end, it, I'm going against it. It's not how well you play. It's whether you win or lose. <laughs> And the Patriots found a way to lose that game. Kind of An important watching. game. You damage me. Ah, I've learned life sometime, huh? <laughs> okay. We've got a game against the Giants. The last game of the season. Now that could clinch us something. Well, yeah, it's gotta clinch. I we're in. I think ninety percent chance we're gonna win that game. Yeah, I'm ninety five. Right, I'd say. Who, who stepped, who stepped the confidence for the playoffs? Bledsoe's gonna have a good game. Martin's yeah. gonna have a good game. Just get him out there. We got Bledsoe's gotta throw the ball more. Yeah, he's, he's gotta, gotta throw the ball. The gotta, thing, he's gotta throw to Ben Coates. That's what it is. Ben Coates yeah. gets stuff done. He always catches the ball. Except I last game oh, where he was game. shut down. Yeah. Yeah. Zero yeah. catches. Zero yards. Broke his streak. Yeah, he had like well, uh, a catch. In the si there you go. There you go. Right there. 64 <laughs> games. Halted. Games was 
Okay. But uh, we we just got to get the ball to Terry Glenn again Ooh, too. Ooh, that's what they almost did Because he's he's been um, he has like he leads the league or something in uh, most reception by a rookie. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you got to get the ball on his hands. So Glenn well, is a very important aspect of this team. And in the Dallas game, I didn't see him throwing that often in that in, the, in his direction. Maybe because of Dion. Maybe because Bledsoe felt a little intimidated. Dion? Bledsoe that's definitely felt intimidation yes. against the best. Yeah. That was, that's what NFL. was missing. I know, but he has to have confidence. He's going up against the best now. He's got it's playoff problem. time, man. That's what was missing in the Dallas game. They didn't have any big plays. They tried going to Glenn a couple times downfield. It just wasn't working. If they got one of those big plays, it may have broken the game open. Yeah. But it just that's wasn't working. That's a big butt, though. So. Then uh, what do you think about Parcells always going on fourth down? I think, I it's, think, I think it's going to work out. It's going to work for him. If you've got one yard, don't punt it. Go for it. That's what I always say. I it say brings I mean, excitement to the game. Yeah. Not only does it bring excitement to the game, if it's one yard, the, the odds are in your favor that you're going to make it. It's, I mean, and they're like they're around 50% for making it. Exactly. This year, so. They're a little over 50%. So, I mean, it's not bad. Why not? Why, why, go, why not go why for it? If, if it's something yeah. happens from it, you get first down and you get another shot. I when, mean, it's mm -hmm. a big chance that you need to take, when, especially when you're down. When Parcells yeah. first came yeah. to the Patriots, he was very, yeah. very timid about doing chance. that. He the very rarely big. went on a fourth down Even situation. Even at the beginning of this season, he was. Yeah, I know. He's, he, he laid back. He would punt. You know, I'll give them the ball down there instead of trying to get the ball a couple of yards away. Now he's aggressive, he's going for it, and it's, and it's making a difference in games. I mean, it has me, meant the difference between a win and a loss in yeah. some situations. They picked up Martin, and that put, give, give him a lot of power in the backfield. Yeah. Of course, Gash is now out now, so, yeah. so they're mostly going to throw on the throw. They're mostly going to throw on the fourth down now, so. Yeah. Yeah. They got and Keith, it's always trying to get in uh, Coates' hands, so. Keith Byers is now in a fullback, and I don't think he can pick up the, where Gash left Oh, off. no. Gash and, had uh, something that Gash like, no one else on the team had. He had. Power. He was. So he, you're saying everyone else has nobody else no, has they power, have power. They don't have to say Gash's power. He has power. You know. He was a full Thank back. you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not <laughs> as much power as uh, the, front one line of the guys. Commentators on one of the games was stressing he had a 20-inch neck. The guy's massive. No one can knock him down. No. You heard it here. Say. <laughs> okay. Uh, playoffs coming up, of course. Uh, Buffalo lost the other night to Miami. Yes. So <laughs> I agree. They're on the edge of playoffs. That means, right? Something to that Buffalo extent. Buffalo. Yes. Buffalo has a chance. A lot of other teams have. Yeah. Well, not a lot. It's down well, my, Miami. It's I counting down. It's, um, yeah, Miami is gone. My hopeful. They're gone. Yeah. Well, well looks like Miami's we should have a long much. time ago. Let's see. Uh, but we got the. Uh, we clinched the division. Now. We clinched the division. That doesn't mean a whole lot, but it means a little bit. It means at least one home game. If we win the next game, though, we get the bye. So yeah. that's yeah. what we could really use. Yeah, definitely. So. I know, we couldn't use it. <laughs> well, sorry. <laughs> and a bye would make it we so could use that the if they win in the second round, uh, that, that'll that be a couple games with Denver. So if, if they get a bye, they won't have to play Denver unless the championship game comes about. Excellent. If you look at it that way. <laughs> I agree. Uh, of course, Denver's in, Pittsburgh is in. Um, San Fran. I think the Chiefs are. Yeah. No, I don't I think they're in charge. And then you look over in the NFC, and uh, you got Dallas out there. Uh, they clinched their division. Yeah, uh, Green, after a slow start. Green uh, Bay is out there, of course. Green Bay, many people think that they're going to win the Super Bowl. Now then, it's going to be uh, an NFC battle again, once again. Green Bay, Dallas, and San Francisco. Yeah. It seems like that every year, getting kind of blah, if you, you <laughs> yeah. know, If you would say. say. Yes. But, uh, I think Favre can lead them to a Super Bowl in this Favre, game. Favre, yeah, he's uh, shown consistency throughout the season. Pretty good quarterback. <laughs> Pretty good. Not the best, of course. Uh, I don't know. Some <laughs> people might be able to convince me. Some people. And, yeah. Okay. So, yes. <laughs> and the uh, Packers have a something? lot. Have Reggie White, Don Beebe. I do too. Yeah. A lot of good players there. Super Bowl. Uh, I think it'll be <laughs> definitely um, the battle of the quarterbacks. Uh, Aikman, Favre, and <laughs> Young. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if Young Of course, Young's been having a tough year. Young, I mean, I with, think the, with the concussions yeah. and everything. I no. mean, it's just hard to come <laughs> back from. So, so um, Young may be gone next year for the 49ers. Yeah. Uh, gone. Au revoir yeah. means goodbye. Did we agree idea, on that. Do you have any idea where he's no, going? No, I disagree. No, I have no idea where he's going. He's going with a big tuna. It's going to take his shrimp boat somewhere else. What would the tuna be next year? Hmm? He'll Far be with New Jersey. I think Parcells will come back. I, I, hope I, I, was I hope he comes. I think I hope he stays. they get past but. the first round of the playoffs, he will. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be a big, a big factor. The yeah. thing is, to is, know if he can carry but, them. But you know, the thing isn't the team. It's he loves the team and everything. Yeah. It's just 
everything, like the administration and he's, everything. He's, gotta he's make fed up with it. Everything. So is everyone else, though, I'm sure. Yeah. Kraft is telling him he's going to move the Darn team now if, if he doesn't get a new stadium. This Kraft is the guy who right. saved the team a few years ago. From hero to goat. It's all money. <laughs> all revolves around money. The world revolves around Just money. like Clemens. Goat. We'll, we'll get to that a little bit. We'll open that one. Yeah. Okay. We don't want to open that door. Well, we'll take a short break right now. Uh, when we come back, uh, next show, the playoffs will be going on. So we'll yeah, have something to say about those. Okay. Talk, uh, We'll be right back with Clemens. You guys are acting kind of Hi, right, welcome back. Uh, right now, of course, the Red Sox yeah. uh, just gave up Roger Clemens. I don't, I don't think they gave I don't him think up, though. No, they didn't give up. They didn't want him. It was his decision. Yeah. They offered him $20 million. He would be the highest paid player on the team, but... In Red Sox history, he would have been the highest paid player. But he wants more money. No. Who it's all a matter of money. A old $8 million a year. We did. A team that's for, smart. Boy, in no. the last five well, years, years has had a 50-50 uh, record in wins. I mean... He's not worth the eight million a year. No, I agree. Nothing against Roger. I mean, it's not like I've bad mouthed him in the past or anything no, like that. No, no. Like I've always Roger. liked Roger Clemens as pitching. I've always thought he's a One good pitcher. One or two of you are in the but audience are going. But now yeah, he's I just a fifty percent pitcher. Yeah. He's, he's a fifty-fifty. So yeah, with the one or two. I mean, he, yeah, maybe he'll brother. get a year or two that's like fourteen and ten or something. But mm. I just don't see anything that's. Yeah. I mean, last year eight million dollars worth. I mean, the last the, the last season before the past season, he wasn't very productive. No. But the very p the, this last season we had, he did great. And then you look he at him, his last statements. Well, great for him. You look at his last statements, and he's like, I would never leave here for the money. Oh, you know, I love it here. Yeah, I love the I way get, things are here. Oh. And state. then what? A month later, he says, His home state he is lost, He lost a lot of it. He fled the country. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's right. He lost him a lot of integrity. Yeah. What a liar. Yeah. Going to be a liar, liar. Hands he's coming fire. into Fenway with Toronto. Toronto's coming into Fenway yeah. in, what, June or July? Oh, well, I'll be there with it. I hope <laughs> they boo him out of Fenway because when it I came hope down to I they boo him out of Fenway with solo shots Boom, by back everyone on the team. Which just leads me to believe he doesn't love the game as much as no. some of the other players. He just... He loves the money, he which loves everyone would love. But that's what sports has turned into. Yeah, it's, it's a business. Into, of course, I could I'm take $8 million a year business. and be very happy I would also. love $8 million a year, but if you're... Let's I mean, argue. Look, look what Tim <laughs> Derrick did. He turned yeah. down, he turned down. a deal from Cleveland to stay with Boston. Yeah. And, and I think Clemens was just saying, you know... He loves the sport. I think Clemens was just saying, you know... Vaughn wants out in a few years, and no, Seiko wants out. Just, that's to, just, just to get, you know, everyone hogwash. thinking, yeah, oh, he's not the only one that wanted to leave. It's mm -hmm. just his sorry regrets and everything, you know, because he wants all the money. Yeah. He wants moolah. That's it's the American dream. Mo Vaughn is not going to leave this team, I don't think. Oh, uh, no. Ever? Well, there's a chance. Well, that's pretty bold of you to come out on the limb and say that, Speculation. And I do believe I will and hold you to it okay. later. You will hold me to that. Yes, in years to come. We'll see in I about four years. I don't think that Canseco is ready to give up on this team yet. He, no. he just signed. I think he's, uh, yeah, he's, got a few he, he's told them he wants to stay. We'll see. If he has I a big season, we'll he see. He looked at the free agent market and said, this is the only team stupid enough to keep me for the kind of money. So. And then get rid of Mike <laughs> Green right. getting rid of. I mean, yeah. going to wherever, Tokyo or Japan, I don't know. <laughs> Go to eat out of those. Ah, but we got Shane taunts, Mack. Oh, I don't know, whatever. Shane goes. Mack is a joke. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Mark my word, he's not going to join us. We get Brett Brad Hay Saberhagen, who's going to be out three quarters of the season. Mack's going to hit three, 260, 270 tops. With one home run and two yeah, RBIs. Yeah, we got Shane Mack. <laughs> It, it, it doesn't matter. It's they're, doing what, they're doing what they did a few years ago. Remember when they signed Andre Dawson? This who's like, he? Huh? This Hit dog. Like giant news. That who's, who's good now? Because he was a name. Who's good now? Because yeah. he was a name. Because he's good? Because, you know what? People he who, left the Red Sox? You people, go to the Red Sox, you leave, you become great. It, it's the it, first it, of the band. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the only way you can come. You know, you got to come to the Red Sox. <laughs> Roger Clemens is going to throw his greatest season. If you want to have a good career, you want to have a good career, come to the Red Sox and then leave. It's just simply known, well known everywhere. Simply known, <laughs> but we Thank will you. miss we will miss Roger. But once you think about the pitching staff, the pitching staff, the pitching staff of Toronto is now 
unbelievably um, good. Yes, they got yes. the Scion winner in Pat Hamilton. Yeah, and they, they got Juan Guzman, Juan Guzman who's, who's like the runner-up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and now Juan they got Clemens and Eric Hansen, who was Two our uh, best, <laughs> who had a best record for yeah, the Sox. And, and who Hansen. is even on our pitching staff? Tim Wakefield in. Tim Wakefield's going. Right. Tom Tom Aaron Seal. Hagen. Tom Would that be funny if a if a knuckleballer pitched the first game? Uh, the, uh, of the 97 season. No, okay. no it would I'm not be funny. Go. That'd be funny. I'm just going to be laughing at him all you game long. I think you well, will be the, the only inning, one. Eight nothing. I'm just going to be laughing. I think you will be the only <laughs> one laughing. You've got to look at it. Who's going to pitch opening day? Who's going to be the ace this year? I will Aaron volunteer Seale. my They're services. They're probably going to give it to Brett Sabahagan. If you give experience. me $3 million, I'll go out there and pitch. Yeah, no. well, we and then he's just going to die. A rookie to the team. And then they're going to demote him to fourth. Uh, no, Why don't we just throw Tim Nary in there? Up in the road. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we start Jose Canseco off with the year? You know, just have him throw a few pitches. Move him See up what in we the get. Rotation. Toss him I up there. Shut up. There's no way that this, this team is gonna uh, do good this year. Uh, they so we'll have to see who we're gonna pick they're up. They're gonna battle Detroit for last place. And Detroit, it's, they got a it's pretty gonna, lousy team. We're gonna have to really help. I mean, suck them. Once this Cecil Field left Detroit, how many how many players on Detroit can you left? Can you name besides um, Travis Ryman? Know, Travis Ryman, Ryman which is uh, pretty good, but um, <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's my, right. Um, who stands is, by third base? Uh, and the I only reason you go out there can name the Red penis. Sox because they're the home team. Exactly. Uh, yeah, well, the, I will not root, 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 root for the home team. I will still root, 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 root for the home uh, team. What about getting off track? Looking, uh, stepping up. Who, who can they sign? Jumping back in line. Who are they going to sign? They get, they, they get Avery out in the free agency. They, they're doing I very guess they'll just on the, uh, have to go for the top. On the free agency. Greg market. Maddox? They're doing very poorly. We'll sign you well, away from your contract that you have right now. We're still hoping for John Tom Glavin. Slow it down. The Sox have their hopes. Slow free agents. Yeah, I know. Calm A12. Slow it down. We're getting out of hand. Okay. Shut up. Chill, bro. I'm not. Okay. Well. Somebody has a little problem over here. Well, we'll pick this up next time. Uh, when we come back, Next of course, we'll see if the Sox make any big movements. I don't think they will. Avery Tops, I think, is going to be the biggest name you hear in Boston. Avery? Yeah. I don't think you'll hear it very long, though. They'll, they'll fix Knowing the money they cash out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but he's a name, you see. He's, he's a name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a name, not a face. He's good. So, uh, we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Uh, right now, I just gotta say something briefly about the Bruins and Celtics. Suck. They'll, they'll be known as one right now because they're the slums yeah. of Boston sports. We'll put them into oh, one they, category. At best. But look at the bright side. As long as Dallas, the Dallas Mavericks and the Boston Celtics keep losing, oh, we'll have two good first round picks. Just put it this Dallas way. Dallas Maverick update, they're eight and 11. I said I'd keep track of them for you. That's just a good what a boring just put it this way, though. The Bruins. Oh, we won't even have to buy new nets for the bats. hockey team on, on the nets they shoot on. We won't have to buy new nets. We'll have to buy new nets for the ones that they're defending, but they stink. Yeah, they switch nets every period. But they stink. They've, I don't they care. Did. They stink. They've won, what, 10 games? For the Bruins? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 10 and 15 we're, and we're 5. In, we're in December. The Bruins we're have won 10 games. lousy. Well, what happened to Ranford? That's what I want to know. Lousy. What happened to Ranford him? Ranford doesn't have any defense as far as he's got nothing. He's got Bork. He's got Bork. Well, but unfortunately, you need another half. You need another man. Sweeney? Almost. Yeah. <laughs> him. Uh, Stumple? Stumple. Moving oh, on. He's almost good. At mm -hmm. least, at least he no, is our leading scorer. He score. stays like a stump. stump. The Celtics Thanks, had Mike. their most dramatic Thanks. win in a long time over the worst place team. Yes. They are the worst. In the third team. overtime. In the third overtime. Yeah, that was tell you that was too bad no one saw it. Yes, too I bad all, everyone only saw the final shot. People, I, I people saw just saw the highlights. Really, Thank is that a funny game? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it can't be true. 
Does this mean hell is frozen over, Mommy? All right, that's enough of that. Thank you, Michael. Okay. Well, hell has not frozen the over. Right the bulls, well, the bulls Doubles. The bulls. Doubles. Doubles lost. They look even more impressive than last year. They look great. The bulls, the bulls they, they lost. They I think they look great. They lost to who? Who did they, they lose to? Uh, there's no, there's no as much recently, hype. two teams. Hear me out. They lost a couple teams recently. Yes, but one lousy team. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. All right, no. The uh, the Bulls they they seem to work <laughs> better this year, all right? But there's not much as much hype by the media and stuff because well they already broke the record. Now they can only yeah. break their own. Really? It's okay. kind of blah. Once they what record did yeah, they break? Is it blah? For the most wins. The most oh, wins. Okay. Well, hallelujah. By two games, I mean. They're not as impressive as last year. Really I don't think they are. Well, they're not, I agree. They're, they're with not, they're the there's not as much games on ESPN and they're stuff. Gonna probably I think they're just tired of winning. I'm, I'm trying to listen to Sean, and you are rudely interrupting. Well, you just can't keep your big mouth shut. I am trying to get into a discussion here, and you're just I saying don't care about your meaningless fancy blasphemy, cacophony. cacophony. Thank you, Mike. Cacophony. Print out your words right, and maybe I'll listen to you for Boulder once. dash. Yes, hush. Well. Ah. Ah, I'm piss off. Right now. Ah, um, piss off. I think we've seen, I think we've seen enough of this. Um, this is what happens when we, when we talk back, about the Bruins and the Celtics. When we come back, maybe the Celtics and Bruins will have won some games. Or maybe they, we hope they Maybe they'll some win games. some games, like as in one or two. Uh, the Red Sox hopefully will be in some free agent pursuit. And uh, the <laughs> Patriots will be in the playoffs. The Patriots will have won. John Neville. Oh, my God. I'm Jason Crescenzo. He's speechless and I'm Dan Sweet. Okay, so until next time, so long. See you later, everybody. Au revoir. Merry Christmas. This is where they've done it so far. Every time, they've chewed up a lot of time here in the first quarter. There's only uh, less than four minutes left in the first quarter. And Craig keeps the ball, fumbles the ball. Picked up by Wilmington. First down, Wilmington, number 70, the big bear. He's going to air it out again. He's back. He lets it go. Oh. It's intercepted. Intercepted by Sean Kerrigan. Sean's on his way. Sean. He's still going. Sean Kerrigan. Holy moly. Sean Kerrigan gets the ball all the way down inside the 10. Oh, third down and one. Here's the... Here goes Billy. He's in. Billy's in. Billy's in for the touchdown. Ball can't score. Billy Harrison puts the catch on the board. Wildcats, go ahead. <laughs> Lavoy, he's going to throw it. He's got all kinds of time. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. Holy moly. Oh, boy, here we go. They go, Sean. Sean over the right side. Sean breaks his way. Sean's still going. Sean all the way down. Inside for a touchdown. Sean Kerrigan! Sean!